Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another you versus them. Aries, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Aries, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right, Aries, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, uh, Aries, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, the moon in reverse. Uh, has uh, some truth been revealed here, Aries? Or is somebody listening to the intuition and making some uh, decisions to maybe cut the other person off? I do see one person is sitting in a lot of heartbreak. A lot of heartbreak, they feel lagged, they feel left out, they feel that person is holding back from them, has made a decision and they kind of sense that the other person could be a bit angry with them as well. Mm, this person is not feeling good, they're feeling very imbalanced, feeling they don't know how to make things right. The other person is, yes, seeing the seeing the first person as a, some kind of a player or an immature energy. They're saying, yeah, I thought this was going to be a happily ever after. So, well, you seem to already be maybe in a connection elsewhere. So I'd rather just be single and independent. I don't want to be juggled or have to wonder where this connection is going. Uh, I think somebody has really taken their power back and saying, you know what, I've thought long and hard about this and I want to completely cut this connection off. So, well, that's my first impression, but for, let's see if you guys could say something to each other right now, what that would be, and then we'll clarify the rest. So, Aries and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Aries and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be, spirit? Aries and their person... Aries and their person spirit. All right, good to go. Let no, sorry, we're going to take a few more Aries from another deck. Aries and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Aries and their person. Okay, just a few more Aries from a third deck as well. After that, we'll start the reading. Aries and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right, good to go now. Let's start the reading. Uh, before I open these dialogue message cards, Aries, let's also take three cards from the universe to figure out what's really going on in this connection and why you both are going through this. So spirit guides, please tell me what's the deeper meaning first behind whatever these people are going through. Aries at this person's spirit. Okay, here it is. The first card here, Aries says, Divine timing. Something may not be when you want it, but when you need it. Flirting. Showing affection or appreciation for this connection, but this could be flirting. Maybe it was not the right time, or uh, maybe somebody wanted this connection, but it, they couldn't do it. Or, I don't know, this is something about the timing wasn't right. So, maybe one person just thought I could get away with the just romance and flirting and don't have to offer anything else. Mm, acceptance. Yeah, coming to that place where you accept that, you know what, if it's meant for me, it's, if it's not meant for me, then I accept it and what is meant for me, I will not miss. It can't be just a half-hearted connection where there's flirting and there's this, that and the other, but um, we're not on the same page. I think this is person B who's coming into some acceptance that this is not, this is not what I really signed, it, signed up for. I mean, this is all good. This is passionate and flirting and all that, but maybe this is not the right time for us. All right, so now let's start. Let's start with the dialogue message cards, Aries. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then we'll clarify the tarot cards. So first card here says, I'm damaged and not deserving of your love. 
one day one day i believe we will be together again so again this is about divine timing maybe this is not the right time for you guys to be together my heart was blocked i was not available to receive your love when you gave it i kept the wrong company around who interfered with this beautiful connection i missed out on something so good the next person you allow into your life is lucky you deserve much more than what i could give you at the time so like i said they could have been flirting and romance and passion but then they realizing that the other person deserved much more than what they could give i see why everything happened the way that it did i want to hold you You always knew how to make me smile. I really hate not communicating as much as I want to. You are too good for me. I feel so stupid for choosing lust over love. The lust could be anything, could be another person, could be their money, could be their property, could be their finances, could be anything, lust for anything. But this person couldn't make up their mind or it was not the right time for them. So next card says, don't let my arrogance fool you. I feel unworthy. I miss you so much that it feels like there's a real pain in my chest. I won't show you that though. At first I thought that this was only a sexual attraction but it's so much more than that I love you mind body and soul You changed up and that triggers me I'm angry with you but really I'm angry at myself Then why do you stay if they treat you so badly All right. So these were some of your messages, Aries. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading. But first, as always, an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels have for the viewer today. Whether Aries, that's you, or the cross watcher checking up on your energy. Uh, what's the blessing, guidance, advice, or message for the viewer today, Spirit? Here it is. wise decisions okay so somebody is making some wise decisions or maybe it's time to make some if you have learned your lessons if you've seen through why things happened the way that they did uh, it's time to make some wise decisions for yourself okay so now we start the reading and we'll start with person a's energy aries and newcomers please remember these are not gender based and i don't know which side you're on nor do i want to know because i want to be fair to both sides okay uh, um, if the, if you've been resonating with this reading till now then yes you would be one side the person who's connected to your energy is on the other now this could be anyone could be a love interest spouse ex could be a business partner could be a best friend maybe or a coworker or a relative maybe so please use your judgment on that so right now i'm going to focus on on one side which is person a after i'm done with person a later we'll move to the other side so there's no confusion so person a let's start with you in your feelings in your emotions you have the 3 of swords why is that oh they're going through a huge tower huge tower and a lot of heartbreak because they are realizing things have stopped absolutely stopped this person is going through the tower and feeling miserable feeling really heartbroken why what's the four of um, four of pentacles because they feel that the other person is uh, holding back from them or is uh, getting out of waiting for them and is very very upset and angry with them or is kind of just turning their back on them it's making uh, it's making person a realize that they are losing out on the biggest cup of love that they could have ever got in their life they're going through a lot of heartbreak right now Well, uh, why do you feel this way? Why do you feel that the other person is angry with you, or you know, why are you feeling heartbroken? Uh, two of Swords in Reverse, because they feel a decision or a choice has been made. My God, I put the tower back and it came right back 
out again. So person A is going through it big time. They feel everything is crumbling around them. They feel a firm decision has been made by the other person now and uh, they are no, not willing to even talk to them about them or fight for them or uh, even kind of, they've just gone silent. Person A says, they're not even talking to me anymore. They've just gone quiet. I mean, maybe person A expected that the other person would fight for their attention or maybe chase after them or at least fight with them. I don't think the other person is doing any of that. And now the silence is, I think, scaring person A. It's really scaring uh, person A because if they are realizing the depth of upset and anger that the other person could be in and um, they are trying to see, yeah, the other person is probably walk, moving away. They're moving away to their own peace and happiness. Um, they, they're not concerned about me. They could be kind of spying on the other person, trying to figure out where they are going though. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me about the Queen of uh, Pen uh, Wands in Reverse. They're very upset. They're very upset. They're very angry. Person A is very upset also. They're very angry. But that's coming out from a place of regret and shame and guilt. Maybe they thought at one time that they had all the power in this connection. They didn't have to do or say anything. But they've realized that the other person has seen through all their games uh, and kind of given up on them. Just drop this connection and now things are stuck between the two of you. I think they prob probably got, they thought that the other person will fight for them or try again or try again. But I think the silence is really scaring person A right now. They could be going through some stress and sleepless nights and anxiety, maybe some nightmares. Just imagining that the other person is not even hurting, about, hurting on them anymore. It's probably healing themselves because they don't see the other person putting in any effort or any work. I have a feeling person A didn't expect that person B would shut the door on them. They thought the cycle would never end. I mean they could just come back and start a brand new chapter but the stagnancy I think the stagnancy it's only growing from the nine of pentacles sorry the uh, knight of pentacles in reverse it's getting worse and worse is going to the page of pentacles now and the more stagnancy that they are feeling of this connection the more they are getting scared that oh my god I, I may never get a second chance again I'm I'm they know I've Judgment has been passed on this connection by my person and they will never ever give me a second chance. It's actually making them feel maybe they made some foolish choices in the past. Maybe they breadcrumbed the other person. Maybe they were giving to more than one. Something they did which was really, that was not a wise decision at all person A if you did that. Uh, and yes, I understand that. You know, why you're worried now? Yes, yeah, silence is, uh, silence sometimes can speak louder than words. And if the other person has gone quiet or not fighting for you or with you, then that spells a bit of danger, right? And that's what's keeping you up at night and giving you s stress and anxiety. So person A, tell me, how do you see the connection now? How do you see person B and how do you feel about this connection? Justice is in reverse. What's the justice in reverse? Oh, they're very stressed out. They're very stressed out because I think they really admire the other person. They do see the other person as uh, somebody who's incomparable, somebody who's not chasing them, probably doing very well in their own life, they're not uh, really bothered about them, attracting good things into their life. I mean, they, they are in awe of the other person, that's for sure. And they are thinking, they are overthinking, feeling it's not fair, feeling, feeling very imbalanced. But uh, I have a feeling they are also recognizing that it's their lack of investment. Maybe when person A had a chance, they never put in the investment, they never, you know, did anything to make this connection flourish and uh, they know that because of that the other person is now angry with them, upset with them, has used their sword to cut off this connection and move forward and probably has trust issues regarding them. Yeah, I think the universe is giving them a little bit of a spiritual wake up and uh, making them realize that uh, they need to level up right so in their mind they do see that the they they would have could have made a perfect match with the other person in their mind they always thought that maybe in, in, in a while or later on if he, you know i can 
hold on to this time maybe later on i can come back with the other person and we'd make a fantastic pair the emperor to the empress or something but uh, somewhere because i think maybe they couldn't make up their mind then now they are scared the other person has taken back their power taken back their energy and just sees them as maybe a liar or a cheat or a ghoster or something so what action person a will finally take i will open later though um aries let's go to the other side and see how person b is feeling so person b in your feelings in your emotions uh, you have the knight of wands now we all know what that is you see them as uh, somebody who is uh, immature in an only uh, only one passion with you maybe just being a bit of a player or something and person b says Yes, absolutely. I see them as a player, Omkara Taro. I'm passing judgment on this and saying no more second chances. No more second chances because the truth is out. The truth is out that they were just a. Uh, they just wanted some light-hearted flirtation, some fun, and nothing really more than that. But they made me false promises. They made me envision a future with them, and then they just ended up breaking my heart. Okay, so person B sees person A as a heartbreaker. What's the Ten of Cups, though, in your feelings and your emotions? Ten of Cups. I think person B was kind of hoping that person A would sooner or later rush back towards them and offer them something long term, and there would be a happily ever after. But I think they 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 felt disrespected. They felt disrespected because when they realized that there was nothing on offer, right? And I think now they are they are now they are figuring out. Yeah, I was probably dealing with some kind of a trickster. Maybe I was just an option in their life. All they wanted was passion and nothing else. They just wanted me to get stay stuck. waiting for them forever and ever after i think that's when i think person b realized that you know what i have to i have to take a call i don't want to talk to them now i don't want to message them any more i don't want to wait for them any more i have to go out there and find my own happiness am i right person b tell me uh, why do you feel this way why do you feel that you're done with them nine of pentacles what's the nine of pentacles did you think they were single or now do you want to be single yeah person b says person b says this connection was getting a bit toxic omkara taro i i i mean according to person b they feel it was only passion and nothing else i would rather just focus on myself maybe i uh, have to i have the world in my hands maybe i should choose a different direction altogether maybe i should block person a now not allow them back in yeah person b is uh, healing from whatever trauma they've gone through with person a and they are showing up exactly as person a described them as somebody who's not chasing uh, very very healed mm, bringing an abundance and focusing on their prosperity on their life on their home hearth and um, kind of uh, very healed energy i would say making some very wise decisions for themselves why because i think person b recognized that person a couldn't either make up their mind or was just juggling them maybe they they couldn't make up their mind on time or they had another person or they were just kind of playing with their heart and they would never ever really come back and offer them anything that person b expected them to i think person b lost hope that they will ever have a long term partnership with person a and started to realize that no this person is just a liar they just a cheat they just want to you know see if i'm going to run after them and chase them and all that uh, you know foolish stuff and yeah this can't be my soulmate this can be a true soulmate this is a false soulmate i i don't want this i i think it's time for me to make my own choices make my own decisions focus on my future maybe start talking to other people and focus on forward movement instead of focusing on this person so person b tell me how do you see the connection now and how do you see feel about person a especially a uh, person b says i've withdrawn my energy om kara taro i've been in hermit mode for a long time and i've realized after i realized that they were just uh, you know uh, immature energy who wanted passion and nothing else i didn't i mean i did feel bad but i realized that i was allowing them into my life and once i realized that i don't want to deal with a player i started my healing journey 
I connected with my spirit guides. I so, you know, sat in my solitude and I healed my own broken heart. And yes, I didn't see them putting in any effort to help me with that. And uh, now nor do I want to invest in this connection anymore. Uh, I think person B is showing up as the queen of swords in reverse where they say, I kind of lost trust in this connection. Yes, I, I don't trust them. I'm cutting them out of my life. Uh, one more. One more. I think person B feels that they're not holding on to any hopes with person A anymore. Maybe if person A did come back into their life, they may accept them back maybe as just a friend from the past or something like that. But it's like I'm much stronger now. I'm not going to allow any kind of injustice to happen. This is over. I'm not going to trust them again. Not with my heart. Okay, so yeah, person B is kind of releasing this connection and saying, you know what, I'm not going to be carrying all the burden on my shoulders and nor, and nor am I going to wait for uh, any kind of an offer from them. Okay, so well, let's see what actions you guys will take then Aries. I'm going to take another deck for this one and as always, my turn now to request you, remind you to uh, click the like button for me please helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated uh, to do more Aries readings for you and newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free for you to do so. We welcome you to our Omkara family. All right, so person A, let's start with you. Action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Magician in reverse. I think person A is kind of lost hope. They feel uh, I may not be able to manifest this connection back. I know, I mean, they feel I know that um, the other person now sees me just as a trickster, but probably never trust me again. Ah, third time the tower, third time the tower. I think person A is going through a huge tower recognizing that they've lost out. Yeah, they do want to return. They do miss person B a lot. But yes, like uh, person B suspected, they could be in another commitment already or um, they need to come back and apologize for something. Yeah, this person is very, very burdened, very overwhelmed with the thought that the other person has packed their bags now and probably is moving on towards maybe other offers or has other options in their life. Yeah, I think they're a little more worried about that. They're worried that person A is, uh, sorry, person A is worried that person, the other person is moving on to new love and they've lost out. So now they're feeling going through a tower, big time. Okay, so person B, action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Or maybe they're feeling friend zone. That could be it as well. They could be feeling, oh, I'm, I'm friend-zoned. I'm just one of their options now. And they probably have other options and they're going to choose somebody else now. Okay, so person B, tell me action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Seven of Pentacles. Person B says, uh, 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 I'm very disappointed in this connection, Omkara Taro. They never put it in any investment. And I, I was very disappointed in this connection. Okay, so tell me about the Seven of Pentacles as an action. Yeah, Three of Wands. I think person B is moving on. They are kind of uh, turning their back and saying, you know what, I was disappointed in this one. But you know what, many more fish in the sea. I've turned my back to this connection and I'm trying to see what else is out there. Yep. And they're ready. Person B, person B is absolutely ready to take a leap of faith in a brand new direction. They're not even looking at person A at the moment. So what's the moon card in reverse then, Spirit? What's the moon card in reverse as the overall energy for this reading today? What's the moon in reverse? Yeah, something came to light. I think person B got to know some truth and ever since that, I think they kind of took the higher ground and said, you know what? I don't want another wand coming towards me. I have enough uh, people coming towards me with all kinds of offers. And if it's not a true, true person who 
matches my vibration and you know comes towards me and takes responsibility uh, i'm not going to agree i'm going to say no to any immature offers come that come towards me i think person b is waiting for that right offer something that is fair that's something that is just it's like yeah i'm cutting away anyone or anything now uh, yes i think person b knows that there are lots of people who have their eye on them or are competing for their attention but person b says no i'm not going to make any decisions right now till the right person comes with the right vibration and offers me their whole heart i'm not going to even entertain not just person a but all the others who are competing for my attention so well that's what i have for you till next time then aries love and light take care namaste